Hey guys, so in this video, I want to do a quick demonstration of how to set up a line sensor in Robot Studio. So to start, we're going to come over to our simulation and go to our station logic tab. And here we can right click, go to sensors, and select our line sensor. So it's going to automatically bring up the properties of the line sensor over here on the left. So we're going to go back to our view one. And what makes the setting up a line sensor much easier is when you can align your robot with the world coordinate system. So to do this, you can right click on your robot, you can go to mechanism joint jog, and you can set all of your joints to zero. All right, now this is gonna align your robot end of arm tooling with the positive X axis. Now I can X out of there. Now I can go back and double click my line sensor and bring up my properties panel. So what this is gonna ask for is two points in space to create your line. Now, one thing you need to pay attention to is that these points in space relate to the world coordinate system, not your tool coordinate system. So when we extend this line sensor, we want to extend in the X axis, not your Z axis. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to select these points using our object, our snap object tool. So we can select in this start point. Look for our little dot to show up. Click there, and then I click right again, or I guess I click in the same point again. Now what this does is sets my start point and end point to the same exact location. Now this makes it super easy because now I can just add 100 in my positive x axis, and it's going to extend that line sensor out. Now obviously I need a radius on this line sensor, so I'll just make that a two. And now I have a line sensor extended off of my end of arm tooling. So I can close this panel. Now, one of the big things you want to make sure you do, otherwise you're going to be kicking yourself, is you want to attach this line sensor to the robot. Otherwise, you're going to move this robot and that line sensor is going to stay right there in space. So to do this, you can take your line sensor and you can click and drag it on top of your robot. Now it's going to come up with this prompt. Do you want to update the position of your line sensor? Now, this you do not want to do because it's already in the correct position. So you're going to select no. Now, to test this out, we can just try to jog one of the joints. So we'll jog J5 here. As you can see, the line sensor moves with the robot. I hope this helps.